Hello. Uh, today we're gonna continue our last subject. Uh, so last video I saw how to uh, what are scripts and running basic scripts and demonstrating scripts. And today I will show a little on how to install scripts and extensions. So let's first start with the most manual way to install a script, which is copying the code. So here I am at the forums and I saw this old post uh, from 2020 talking about a uh, script from Edgemil. Uh, this script should copy selected items to selected tracks, ma do many copies. So for this I will copy the script, just this area here, can minimize that, go to Reaper, go to actions list, um, and click new action, so new real script. And scripts are normally saved here at the Reaper scripts folder. You can create uh, a new folder, so for example, uh, and, um, let's say edit scripts. I don't know, you organize better if you can. But I recommend uh, using this folder called scripts for putting out of scripts so your settings stay uh, and we, sorry, if, so your scripts stays with your settings. So scripts, let's give it name, copy, selected items to selected tracks. Save it. Now I can paste the code. Uh, I need to create some tracks. I need to create uh, two items three items are okay and now if in this area here if I save this with Control S it will try to run the script and we will save it uh, oh I didn't select the tracks of course here okay and now it copied the items to the selected tracks I can close this now and the script will be uh, at my actions list. Oh, remember when you are adding a script to see the section where you are adding. I am adding to the main, which is the arrange view. But if you are adding a MIDI script, be sure to select MIDI editor. So the MIDI editor actions list, uh, you'll be adding to uh, that section. So shortcuts that are pressed there are addressed for these actions. Okay, so we can have different shortcuts. And you can put shortcuts by clicking here on your script, clicking add and uh, pressing some shortcut, click OK. So now pressing the shortcut will uh, execute the script. Okay. So this is the most manual way to install a script. The second way manually to install a script is click new action and load the Lua file. For example, the one that we just uh, added. Uh, I will not add it again because I don't need it, but you just click here and open and it will add the actions to your actions list. And now let's start to see how to install extensions. Okay, so I will show the most used extensions, at least for now. First one, and I think is the most important one uh, for now, at least, is Reapack. Uh, Reapack, it will download a DLL file. And this DLL file, we must paste it in a certain folder. Uh, you can see this folder going here, Options, uh, Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer or Finder. And then you go to User Plugins. Here you must paste this DLL file. So I will click Download. You select your system, Load. Oh, very important. If you can donate to Reapack, uh, it is done. Uh, Cephilion is the developer. He's a really good person. 
he helped me a lot to understand scripts. Uh, I personally donate on uh, GitHub. I think it's a great place to donate. And it is really important for us to donate for uh, uh, our community because this is really the roots and a really important thing for the community. I can't see the script community today being as active without React. It is really a core f uh, function for us. And okay, I already donate, so I will click here. N not this time. Take the download link. I will download here. I have already downloaded actually, and I will copy this and now let's go back to that folder user plugins and paste here okay now if I st hey start reaper okay okay I have paid with reaper of course but I am just with a clean stall it is not with my uh, with my registration okay so let's wait, still evaluate uh, extensions, reappack, and now you have this uh, menu, extension, reappack, and we have this amazing thing, browse packages. Here we have many scripts that we can install it from, and this thing is really important for scripters because it's m much more easy to install a script. You just select one that you like, um, I will show in a bit. Uh, let me select something. I don't know. This from XRAN, good scripter. Add empty source take to select items. Click action, install, and apply. Okay, and now this f uh, script should be added to your actions list. Add empty here. No. Oh, here. Add empty source take to selected items. Um, just an example how to install a script. And this is the most uh, important thing. It's really easy to install. And most more important than that, it's really easy to keep updated it. Because if uh, we needed to, if we didn't have Reapack, we needed to resend the code to you. You will need to update it, it's on the file, it would be complicated. So now if you want to update a script, you just go extensions, reappack, synchronize packages. It will see if how that is installed is synchronized. And that's it. That's all that you need to do. Um, now, another thing that you, let's see another uh, extensions, uh, that you can install via Reapack. So if you go to browse packages, uh, you can search for um, GUI here, via um, GUI, and go actions, install. I have already installed it before the script, so I, I will just uninstall it just to show how to uninstall. You just do this, and now I will show how to install it. You click install and apply. This is how you install and un uninstall something. So Realm GUI is a really essential thing uh, nowadays. It's really popping out. Uh, it's for bringing uh, many cool uh, functions for doing graphical users interfaces. Other extension that is really important is JS uh, extension here. JS Rea script. Yeah, you can write this JS Rea script script API here. Same thing. I already installed it, but you just need to install. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is it on Rea pack that you can install. Uh, Rea GUI, JS extensions. Oh, and now let's see another extension that isn't on Reapack, which is, let me uh, close Reaper. By the way, if you install an extension, you need to re uh, restart Reaper to make it start working. With scripts, 
you don't need to restart uh, to restart it just extensions so let's close repair and um, here uh, re pack okay SWS But anyway, this comes with many extensions and uh, also some functions for scripters. Uh, so let's download it, go to the load in anywhere. This uh, will uh, put an installer in our computer, but this installer, uh, the only thing it does, I think, is to put the DLL file on that specific folder that I showed earlier. So I agree, blah, blah, blah. Close. Okay. So now if I open Reaper, um, we have many things on our extension. Uh, I, I use it to use that LFO a lot. And we have a rear pack. Okay, so now we will see how to install a script that don't comes with Reapack. And that the script say, hey, you need to import my repository. So this is a really uh, common thing actually. So let's go here to, to the forums and I will do this with my, my scripts. So here I have my adaptative music script uh, which is actually three scripts, uh, Rea go to layers and alternator. So to install it, go here, oh, here. Normally we will see this on the pages of the scripts, uh, things that you need. So Reaper 6, we have SWS, we just install it. Rea pack, we just install it. JS rescript, we just install it. And Rea GUI, we just install it. Uh, so it say oh install via rear pack here is my rear pack repository so we will copy the repository link we will minimize that go here to your extension rear pack and import repositories here you will uh, it will ask oh which repository you want we will paste our thing uh, and click OK. And now I will just synchronize an extension, press packages. Now, if I search for my name, it should uh, show some scripts. Uh, actually, I, I have more than just that. So, here are the scripts that I did. And let's install, for example, alternator. No, no, I will show how to install it. Um, which one? Which one? Track snapshot. It's a, a default one. Here, install, apply, wait. Okay. Go to your actions list. Snapshot. Track snapshot. And here is my script. That is how you install a script using Reapack. How to you, you import something. And remember, from time to time, go to your extensions, Reapack, and click Synchronize. It will synchronize all scripts that you have. If you want to stay at a certain version, you can go to our Actions, Versions, and you can load some version of the script, which is really good if someone did something that you, ah, I didn't like this new version you can just click here and go back uh, you can pin a version so for example let's say oh I really like version 1.2 you can put that version there and click pin um, it will stay at that version if even if you click synchronize it will say oh but it's pinned and I will not update and that's that uh, but we don't need this here and we erase the pin. So this is basic information on how to use Reapack and extensions in Reaper. So thanks.